Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and this is round two of the browser speed test with the new Froyo browser, which is claimed by Google to be the world's fastest mobile browser, versus the Opera Mobile 10 on the HTC HD2 and Safari on the iPhone 3GS. Let's do it. Okay, so the reason we're doing round two is because in round one, we left Flash 10.1 beta uh, stay on, which really slowed down a lot of web pages. Yes, it gave us Flash content, but it also made scrolling slow, and some pages just didn't load as fast as they would have if we turned it off. So now it's off. Let's see how big of a difference this makes now that the playing field is a little bit more even. So we'll go into all of these devices, and we'll launch the browsers. We'll be on the same Wi-Fi network. All right, here we go. Launch that browser, this browser, and this browser. We're on different pages here, so let's go to pocketnow.com on all of them. Try to do it at the same time, but you know how difficult that can be. So we'll just do uh, one, two, three, and they're off. Again, we've got Flash 10.1 turned off on Froyo here. Let's see how fast it goes. They're still going. Looks like the iPhone finished first. Looks like uh, HD2 finished second, and actually Froyo finished last. Let's take a look at scrolling. Now with Flash Off, it's a lot smoother here uh, in Froyo. Um, so let's zoom in here to a particular link, and we will click on the same permalink, and then we'll bounce around to a few other websites to see how fast things are, or how slow they are, depending on which browser you're talking about. Okay, let's try. We're just going to do one, two, three. One, two. Three. HD2 finish first, iPhone second, uh, the Froyo browser third. It looks like it's getting hung up on something here on the page. Although I can assure you the flash is not turned on. So let's go to another website. Let's go to, say, uh, New York Times. So NY Times. Okay, and we're going to do one at a time. One, two, and three. Let's see which one gets there. Okay, so the uh, Froyo browser was there, the fastest, even though we started with here. HD2 finished second. The iPhone 3GS is coming up third. Let's move down the page and see what it's like. They all look really good, just like the desktop. It's just a matter of which gets done uh, first. Let's go to another website. Let's go to Dell.com, just to, uh, should have some extra graphical elements that could Slow things down. All right, here we go. And we're going to go, go, and go. OK, so we're getting the mobile site on these two devices. So uh, let's load up the full site if there is a link down here. It says View Full PC Site. And we'll try to get those at the same time. But we can't, we can't zoom in there. So um, let's just try this. View Full PC Site. Uh, nope, that's not right. Sometimes these links are so small, it's difficult to press. There we go, view full PC site. So one step ahead on, the, on Froyo, it was extremely fast. Um, you can move around on the screen, move around on the screen, go up here. So we can do for home, for home, and for home. Froyo finish first. Looks like overall Froyo is finishing first. It's not first by a huge margin, but overall we're getting it to be first. Let's go to yet another website. We'll go to, say, CNET.com. All right, we're ready. Go, go, go. We're getting the mobile version here, the iPhone version here, and the full version over here on Opera Mobile. All these websites have, uh, have mobile versions. So once again, I'm going to go to the bottom and click on the View Full CNET Site link. Uh, did it take there? Oh, there we go. We can zoom in a little bit. View Full CNET Site, View Full CNET Site. 
Oddly, this didn't translate into what I was hoping it would. So anyhow, we'll compare, I guess in this case, a Froyo with the HD2, since the HD2 actually seems to be outperforming uh, the iPhone browser. So let's check screen rotation speed here. So faster on Froyo. Let's do it the other way, if we can get it right. Faster on Froyo, definitely. And let's go to one more website and compare these two browsers. Let's go to gizmodo.com. Well, I think what's going to happen is that the HD2 is going to load the full site. And then the uh, Nexus 1 is going to load the not full site. So let's, let's give it a try. OK, good. This is the perfect test. See which one finishes first. OK, so Froyo finished. Actually, about still going. So we're up to like seven seconds now. Eight, about eight seconds faster. That's very significant uh, comparing these two browsers. And we'll jump around, see how scrolling feels. Very smooth on both devices. Although, let's see if we get checkerboards. We don't get checkerboards at all on uh, on Froyo. Whereas on the HD2, if you go really fast, you get kind of the checkerboard pattern. So that's another way that the Froyo browser really has uh, uh, some great performance. So let's zoom in on this picture, and we're going to tap on the picture at the same time, load the, the permalink page. Here they go. It's really amazing how far web browsers on mobile devices have come. Here they go. And uh, look like Froyo finished first. Very good, and I just want to bring in the iPhone again, and we're going to go to Gizmodo and do the same test that we just did uh, with, the, with, the, with the HD2 and the uh, Nexus 1. So again, we want to go down to the full, full view here. And we'll go back to the home page on Froyo. All right, let's do a screen rotation speed test. Froyo is faster. Froyo is faster. You don't have that screen anima anim animation. Let's scroll down fast and see what happens on the iPhone 3GS if we get checkerboards. Whoops. No, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, so let's go and click on an image here. Let's click on this one. Let's stop it. Okay. And tap. Froyo is faster. iPhone 3GS is struggling. And we'll go back to the home page and try one more link just to triple check. OK, we'll go to this here. Click on this image. See which comes up faster. So yeah, Froyo is faster. Froyo finished about, we're up to about five seconds now before the iPhone 3GS and sometimes uh, more than that on the HTC HD2. So I think it can be said that if you have the flash turned off or you can even have it, of course, enable only when you want it to uh, through the settings here. So where are we? Go down to um, enable plugins on demand so that it says, it asks you if you want to turn on the flash content on a per case basis. When you do this, uh, Froyo browser is indeed 90% of the time the fastest mobile browser uh, of any smartphone operating system. And that is quite a claim, and that's extremely important because one of the core functions of a smartphone is the browser. And the Froyo browser is awesome. So that was just another test, round two, the mobile browser comparison test with Froyo on the Google Nexus One. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe to our channel for more similar videos. That's it for now.